Hi everyone, I'm Karen the Librarian with the County Libraries Riverton Branch. Today my guest team is Madison. Hi Madison. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. So we are here today with some really fun crafts. Um, I know we're doing some fairy houses out of water bottles, but today we're going to talk about terrariums. And terrariums have been super cool. You can do them in a variety of ways. Here I have a teacup terrarium with Totoro. Um, today Madison and I are going to explore a few different options. Terrariums are super simple. You just need a container. I'm going to use a plastic plate. Madison, what do you have? I'm going to use a jar. You're going to use a jar. So you could have a quart jar or let's say you finish some sort of food at home, you wash it out, clean it really well with soap and water. This is a great jar. And we've got in our terrarium today potting soil. So some of the ingredients, depending on if you use live plants or not, there will be different things in the terrarium. If you use live plants, here are some things you will need. Um, you'll need some pebble rocks. For drainage on the bottom, you'll want some charcoal to eliminate uh, smells or fungus, bacterial growth. You want some moss and then potting soil. And if you want some type of plant like a succulent or a cactus, we've seen lots of different terrariums, right? Yeah. So today, this one is an indoor, there's not drainage because we're not going to water it. It's just got kind of a basic little totoro and a mushroom and some rocks that we found outside and some dried moss. If you want to use, again, live plants, that's great. Make sure to use those layered pebble stone, charcoal, all the things we talked about for drainage for the plants if you're making an outdoor or a real life plant terrarium. We're just making some fun ones we can have in our homes, like mini fairy houses and things. It'll be fine. So go ahead, let's get started, Madison. You've got your potting soil. Okay, so this week, Madison, we had a really Cool program yes. at the library virtually on Discord. What was it? It was Anime Club. Anime Club, yay! <laughs> it was very fun. It was on Discord. We had teens meet us there. You do have to register through the library website, but it's free. It's once a month on Wednesdays, and we did a lot of different activities. There were kids showing cosplay and talking about cosplay tips, um, art contests, a lot of fun chatter. And, and, and Madison, what was your favorite part? Did you have a favorite part? I really liked watching the previews of new animes. Yeah, we had some anime clips streaming. So it's all kind of a preview for the library's Toshikon event that we have in August. Um, but it was just such a fun way to get teens involved and together and meet new friends. We also weekly have a teen webcomic group that meets. We also have a family one, Darth and Droids. And we have, it's really cute. We also have D&D. &D, and it's all found on the library's website. So make sure to check us out there. Okay, so we've got like different little toys, Legos. Here's some Pokemon. I found a Pikachu. I've got a Demogorgon from Stranger Things. <laughs> this happens to be Totoro, but you don't need to have store-bought items. This is what I love about these crafts. Just look around your house and see if you have anything from home. We went on walks outside and we collected rocks. We have paint, and so what did we do? We painted them. So this is one of the houses I painted. Madison loves to paint. So cool. It's pretty, huh? So I'm gonna use that here on my base. And then, if you don't have any little toys or, you know, lying around, you can also paint them. So this is, let's see if you can see it, a gnome I painted. So my gnome's gonna go here. And then I was thinking, you know, it'd be cool Eventually, I'll probably make some type of fence for mine with like toothpicks. Wouldn't that be cute? That'd be so cute. That'd be cute. Toothpicks, picket fence right here. Um, that will require probably some hot glue. But we just happen to have a bunch of little things lying around. We also happen to have some dried moss. You don't need it. If you don't have it, when I was little, we'd go outside and pick grass and put them on these <laughs> roly poly terrariums. Um, I've got some cute pansies that I might just add to mine as a flower. But the thing I love about terrariums is you can really use your imagination and create these cool little places. And it's, I think, a really fun, enjoyable activity. It's really, if you're feeling stressed, it's peaceful to create art. I like to create art. What about you, Madison? I do. You do? Look, and so every day we go on these walks 
And we've been, Sophie found these. These are cool. It's an acorn. So I'm just gonna plop this acorn down here. Maybe some moss. <laughs> okay, you let me know. Oh, you've got mushrooms. I really like the mushrooms. You like the mushrooms? I think some of those things we found at the dollar store like before, before the quarantine shelter. Um, but for people who just wanna use practical items at home, we also took some water bottles once we finished drinking them, removed the label and painted them and cut just a door. This is the acute terrarium to fill with dirt or bird seed, bird yeah. seed holder. It's really cute. So there are a lot of fun things. I just like that we get to use our imagination. Okay, so mine's almost done. How's yours? Let's see, you got some moss? Yeah. Okay, well let's finish up and we wanna say thank you to everyone for hanging out with us here. And again, teens, we want to tell you that you're not alone. There are times where we feel our feelings. They can be sad, they can be you know, hard anxiety, hard depression feelings. Um, when I say hard, I mean these are real feelings that everyone feels and goes through. So we wanna make sure you understand it's okay to feel that way. If you need someone to talk to, please download this app. It's Safe UT and it's free. And there's someone there 24 seven available every single day to talk to you. If you're a parent and you need help with your team, you want to help them, you can also contact, text or call Safe UT. Thank you, Sophie. We just want you to know you're never alone. We're all in this together. We can't wait to see you at the library again. We miss you. Let's show them our terrariums. Oh no. Oh, did it fall? <laughs> And I put a rock on mine just from something I found outside. Thank you. We hope you have a great day. Bye.